Okay, let's talk about how to solve this two variable inequality. So if you're having trouble with this topic, you're definitely not alone. It's uh, something that is uh, pretty much um, taught at the algebra level, um, algebra one level, but um, you certainly need to know it, okay? It's not one of these type of skills that you learn once and it goes away because what I'm gonna be talking about here um, in this particular problem will just carry through uh, in other additional math topics. So very important that you understand how to do this. And we're gonna get into this in one second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed several complete, full, comprehensive math courses. So if you wanna check those out, you can check out my uh, math help program by following the link in the description of this video. Also, um, I do have some math notes if you want to pick up a pair to supplement what you already are doing in class. Uh, those range from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, trig. You can find those in the description or beneath this video. You should be also be able to see the link to those. Okay, so let's get into this problem. So we have a two variable inequality. What are some of the things that you need to know before you do this problem or can do this problem? Well, the first thing is you need to understand a single variable inequality. So maybe like a problem like this, 2x is less than uh, 10. You have to be able to know how to handle a problem like this, okay? If you don't know how to handle a problem like this, then this two variable inequality is definitely going to be really confusing, right? So we have y and we have x. So these are two variables, two different variables. It's an inequality. This is a single variable inequality. So you need to understand how to do these problems. So um, if you're having trouble with these and you're new to my YouTube channel, I have uh, other videos on inequalities you can uh, quickly check out. Again, if you really, really want um, like full, complete instructional support on this, that's where I want to go and check out my uh, math help program. I would probably suggest like my algebra one course. But nevertheless, you need to know how to handle this problem. So if you could do this problem, I'm not going to get into it. Um, uh, this single variable inequality, but if you know how to do this, excellent. All right, now what is another thing you're gonna need to know uh, to handle a problem like this? Well, you're gonna need to know how to graph lines, okay? Graph lines or linear equations. So if you know how to graph this, okay? Now this is not a line the way you kind of see it here. It's this line, y equals 2x plus five, okay? So if we just kind of uh, remove this inequality symbol and think of that as an equal symbol, my question to you is, could you graph that line confidently? So if you could graph this line and you can handle a problem like this, then you're ready to take on these two variable inequalities. Again, uh, they could be confusing in the beginning, but it's really important that you understand the mechanics behind this. All right, so what are gonna be the steps here to solve this problem, okay? Well, the first thing is, I'm going to do this. Okay, the first thing is that we're going to graph the line. Okay, we're going to graph the line. Okay, then we're going to uh, have, we're going to, we're going to sketch, all right, or we'll say draw the correct line. Okay, now the correct line is either going to be a solid line, okay, or a dotted line. So graphing the line is just getting the right coordinates on the XY plane. But when we actually go to physically draw the line, it's either going to be a solid line or a dotted line. So I'm going to get into that here in a second. Then a third thing is we're going to test. We're going to test a point. Okay. Test a point. And the point we're going to be testing is the coordinate 0, 0. And this is to help determine what we call the solution region. So already, if you're like, you know, uh, watching this, you might be thinking, oh, this is kind of a lot going on here. Yes, it could be a lot going on for sure. But, you know, with practice, you'll be able to understand it, right? So we're going to test a point. I'm going to use the point zero, zero. There's, uh, that's the point that you want to use. Um, there are exceptions, okay? Uh, but we're going to test a point. We're going to test point zero, zero to determine the solution re uh, region. And then lastly, uh, we're going to shade the solution region okay all right so you kind of see here i'm just quickly you know um 
writing some stuff out. It's like, you know, you hopefully would have something like this in your notes. Again, if you really want a real like detailed notes on all this and a nice organized format, you certainly want to check out my like algebra one notes would be a good uh, recommendation for you. But this is the kind of stuff, this is a real general kind of format, but this is kind of the procedure we're going to use. All right, so let's get to it. All right, here comes our problem. So uh, y is less than 2x plus 5. Let's go ahead and think of the uh, line y is equal to 2x plus 5. Again, I'm going to assume you know how to graph lines. This guy right here is uh, already in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so super easy to um, graph this. I'm going to start with the y-intercept 5. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5. Okay. Then my slope is 2. Okay. My m is 2 or 2 over 1. So this is my rise. This is my run. Right. So I'm going to rise 2 and go over 1. So from 5, I'm going to go up 2, 1, 2 over 1. So there's my point right there, okay? So now for this uh, video, I'm going to even skip putting labeling the, the coordinates here for the time being. Just we'll just for, you know that's not the point of this video because uh, I don't want to um, overly complicate this. Okay, as long as you can put the two correct points on your graph paper, that's what I'm really concerned about. Okay, so we plotted the y-intercept and then we use the slope to find the second point, the second point that's on this line. So this is the first, this would be step one, okay? This would be step one. I kind of am ready to graph the line. Now I've got to determine whether it's a solder line or a dotted line. Okay, how do we know that? Well, if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, if it has the underneath little deal, the equal to portion, it's a solder line. If it's just less than or greater than, it's going to be the dotted line, okay? And I'll talk about what that means uh, further as we get into this problem. You erase this. So now we're going to draw, we're going to sketch, and I'm just kind of freehanding here, so it may not be perfect. I'm going to draw a dotted line through those two points, okay? All right, so there we go, and we're, we're, we're getting there, okay? So now the next step, okay, is what? I'm going to test the point zero, zero. Test the point zero, zero. I'm going to explain all this uh, thoroughly here as we get into this problem. So where's the point zero, zero? Well, first of all, let me just make sure you understand that this line here, this dotted line, is it would be equivalent to the line y equals 2x plus 5, okay? But it, it's, in fact, this inequality, okay? So let's just make sure of that. Uh, right here is the coordinate zero, zero, okay? That's the coordinate zero, zero. Now, if you notice, this point, okay, is kind of like beneath this line, this border, all right? And here is the deal. What we're trying to determine uh, determine uh, with this with the two-variable inequality is when we have a line like this, it could be a solid line or a dotted line, here is the situation, okay? I, one side of the inequality is true, or the other side of the inequality is false. We don't know which side is true and we don't know what side is false. The true side is what we call the solution region, okay? So we have to determine where the true side is and then we're going to shade that true side. So this is still confusing to you. I know it is. Just stick with me and you'll see um, uh, all this come together in a second. So the only way we can determine which side is true, which side is false, is to test a point, okay? The easiest point in the world is zero, zero, because in math, we love zeros because they're like the easiest points to work with. So what does that mean? Let's go ahead and show you testing the point zero, zero into this problem. Okay, so y is less than, here, let me do that a little bit better, y is less than 2x plus 5. So remember the uh, zero, zero, this coordinate, it's x and y, right? So x is zero, y is zero. So I'm going to plug in 0 for y and 0 for x, and then I'm going to take a look at the resulting uh, statement. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 0 for y and 0 for x. Okay, I'm testing this point, 0, 0, and I'm going to look to see what happens. So I get 0 is less than 2 times 0 is 0, right? 2 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. So I'm left with this statement. 
Okay. Now I got to ask myself, is this true or false? Is this true or false? Well, let's take a look at it. Is zero less than five? Is zero less than five? Let's think about that for a second. Yes, yes, that's true, right? Zero is indeed less than five. So we determined that zero, uh, the point zero, zero, when I tested in to my inequality, it turned out to be true. All we need to determine is one point, one point, whether it's true or false. Now, check this out. The beauty of, of this deal is if this turned out to be false, the other side has to be true. So by default, this is false, okay? We don't need to worry about that. All you have to do is test one point. It's either going to be a true or false. If this was false, the other side um, is true, okay? If, it's tr if this side is true, then that uh, is good to go. Now, what does that mean, true? Well, it means that this side of the line, all of this stuff over here, okay, beneath this line is the solution region. This is the solution region region and we use that word region okay because any point beneath this line okay within this shaded area if i was to plug it into this inequality would be a solution let's just pick a point let's just say something that would obviously be uh, underneath that line maybe this point here let's try to estimate it let's say this is the point uh two two okay let's say the point two two let's plug it in and let's see how this goes y is less than 2x plus 5. Let's test the point 2, 2. x is 2 and y is 2. So I'll plug in 2 for y, and I'll plug in 2 for x, and let's see what happens. I get 2 is less than 4 plus 5, or is 2 less than 9? Okay, is that true or false? Yeah, 2 is less than 9, that's true. Bingo, that's true. Guess what, any of these points anywhere over here will create true statements in this inequality, okay? So this is how we solve these two variable inequalities. And likewise, if you pick a point way over here, that's gonna produce a false statement, okay? Uh, so all we have to do is determine where the true and the false is. Now let's uh, wrap up this video by emphasizing this business with the dotted line or the straight line. What does that mean, okay? Well, this is not trivial. It means the following, okay? Any point that is on the line, on a dotted line, okay, where it's less than or greater than, any of these points, okay, are not part of the solution region, okay? So on a dotted line, if you have a point that you're testing, okay, these will not be part of the solution region. If this was a straight uh, one line, any points that are on that are part of the solution. Uh, solution region. Okay, so that's what you need to know. Now, what I just talked about here is um, applicable to all kinds of situations in mathematics, okay? As you continue to learn uh, math, and I hopefully that you will, you can have like, let's say, parabolas, okay, like this, y is less than, I'm trying to make something up here, negative x squared plus 2x plus 3, something like that. Now, this is a quadratic equation, has a parabolic type uh, graph, but it has it's also an inequality. It would be done in the same manner, okay? You would, you would do this problem, okay, because this is a less than, it's going to have a dotted situation, but you would be testing points. And this even goes into uh, more advanced topics when you um, work with systems of equations, called linear programming. So you're gonna run across uh, this technique of testing for solution regions over and over and over again. Okay, so let's wrap up this video. One, if you're struggling with this, go back and make sure you understand basic inequalities, okay? Make sure you understand this stuff, okay, well, very well, and make sure you're really confident with graphing lines, and then you need to have good solid notes, good procedure, and you gotta take this stuff one problem at a time. Master it, make sure you confidently know what you're doing, and then you know continue on with more problems. You cannot master these skills by watching me do the work. Okay, like watching me is only help is is only good enough for you to get the procedure down and see it in action. But you're not gonna retain this or be able to apply it in actual real life 
you know, uh, tests or quizzes without practicing it. And you need good reference notes and you need good procedure. Then you need to know how to apply that and you need to know what it means. Okay. All right. So if you like this video, it's certainly uh, appreciate you smashing that like button. Again, if you like my math instruction, I'm posting on YouTube all the time. It's one of my passions teaching math. So hopefully you'll become a subscriber. Again, if you want to check out my full math courses or my notes, you know where to find those as well. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.